Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to give you a tour of the JW Marriott Hanoi, including my room, the lounge, and the pool. I'm at the very end of this hallway, and it's a very long walk from the elevator out here in suite 394. Let's take a look inside. We have the one bedroom suite, so just going to walk in, and oh my freaking gosh, look at that guys. Insert your card right here, walk right in, and blam, look at this huge painting on the wall with some texture and stuff. The TV, the openness of the suite, like my gosh. If you thought a loft was breezy, this JW Marriott is ridiculous. Wow, let's take a look around all that. Got a TV planted out there in the center. You got your living room over here, complete with your couch and all these modern details. You got your working desk over there in the corner. Beautiful view of the JW Marriott, which is a U-shaped hotel. So if you're on this side, one will loop around and it really does this curvy function to get to the elevators all the way down there in the lobby. But my gosh, this looks beautiful at night. There's the protruding um, part of the architecture right there. Just one thing to note. Over here, we got a couple of things. We have a smart TV. Uh, internet connected and everything. They do try to pitch their services at you. You got the full spa experience over here. It's going to open up some of these cabinets. We got the coffee maker set, a tea maker, Illy Coffee's right here. There's a Blu-ray player. It's the first time I've ever seen a Blu-ray player in this, in any hotel actually. Um, here's wine glass. They do provide you complimentary bucket of ice, but they don't give you the wine, you actually have to purchase that. Okay, that's just in cable, so that's not really important. Here is the fridge, they got all that Pellegrino, Heineken, all that stuff. No wines, oddly, so probably have to get that somewhere else. Going into here, this is, you know, just that mini bar with almonds and other stuff, and Kit Kat and Korean stuff. So, <laughs> pretty interesting. Here you got that Francis Francis for Illy coffee maker espresso machine. Look how modern that is. Got those JW Mario uh, waters. You have the Bose radio, which oddly enough still doesn't have the lightning port hookup for it. So it's still for the older iPhones, but hey, you know what? What can you complain about with this kind of hotel room, guys? Look over here in the corner. We got that lounge chair. You got that piece of art. And my gosh, I would really love to redecorate my house like this. And the big, tall, open windows. You know, big curtains looking out into the open. I could probably have them in my pool, but you know, I'll just enjoy it while I'm here. King size bed here with the footboard. You got that nice carpet down here. Um, on this side, we have the phone, water, writing pad, even some tees. And it looks like they've already turned down the bed because of how it's positioned with these uh, comforters. Ready to invite you in and engulf you. Here's some JW Marriott slippers. And my gosh, they're also padded. Here we have Refresh, which is all of their menu options with continental breakfast but did i tell you that this place has a freaking insane lounge as well we're about to check that out next more complimentary waters and stuff you got a tv channel guide and look at this guys you guys have your own curtain openers you go over here and kablam oh snap that's like total luxury right there like i've never seen anything like this in any hotel room i've stayed at except for the ones in vegas bam going over here I'm really excited about this. You know, you got this huge mirror over here. This actually slides so you get some privacy if you really want it. But for the openness and large space of the room, this is a really good factor in it. So take a look over here. You got the tub. You got a TV on the wall. That's a first for me. You got me right here saying hi to the camera. You got um, a lot of towels rolled up. You have a rug on the ground. Everything is marble. It's all decked out. Marble on the side, marble here on the countertop, marble everywhere. Wood, floating glass, everything. My gosh, look at that. Here is the magnifying mirror. Here is the JW Marriott robe. Then going into here, this is just your toilet, which is not Korean, by the way. Doesn't have all those bited functionality. Still good though. And here's the shower with the separate handle. And then of course the shower is mounted up there. Last feature of this hotel, just walk over here. This, some glass doors, which if you push the other side, let's say you're in the bathroom and you're just, you know, changing and stuff, and then you're about to run out the door, but you decide, hey, I forgot something. 
Well, no problem. You know, you just open the other side of the glass door, you just pull your coat and you're on your way. But seriously, guys, this hotel is ridiculous. <laughs> That's what I can say about it. The fit, the finish, the tile on everything, the marble on everything, the openness of the room, the configuration possibilities. No one will have a blast just by staying in this room and I'm not even done yet. We're about to go to the lounge and I'll show you what that's like. I'll show you what the view's like out there, the lobby and all that stuff. But yeah, let's continue. Before heading up to the lounge, here is a view from the front door of my room, looking over Hanoi. The executive lounge is on the sixth floor, so that's where we're going. At the lounge, you're greeted by two wonderful people that guide you into the lounge area, which I'm walking into right now. Here is one of the boardrooms available to guests staying at the hotel. And here is a sitting area right behind that glass wall that I showed you upon entry. The lounge has a lot of tables and chairs to accommodate many people staying over at the hotel. Here's a view from out the club lounge. Take a look at that. You see some nice water features going all the way around and probably some really high-end villas right there. Right over here, they've got a boardroom. Like a real proper boardroom, not like one of those in the other Sheratons that I see. Wow. Host some crazy meetings in here. They got that full on business center with the copier in here. And if you don't like Windows computers, they even give you an iMac to play with. Yes, thank you. All right, here we go with the breakfast signatures. Thank you very much. I can't believe I didn't see this earlier to show it to you guys first, but here we go all the different kinds of things that they serve for breakfast out here in the lounge. It's out here. Let's check it out. We got some brie cheese, blue cheese, all these kind of cheeses over here. This appears to be the salad station. All the different things you need to make a salad, followed by all the different fruits and all the descriptions. That is so interesting. I yeah, never really see this at any hotel actually. Mangoes right here, all cut, pineapples and stuff. Uh, straight ahead over there, they got some cereals from Rice Krispies, all brand all the Western brands and even some other Vietnamese brands. They got some fresh milk, soy milk, dragon fruit juice, guava juice. Man, some breads and spreads and toasters and buns and donuts and croissants. And oh my gosh, I think I'm gonna get fat just eating all this fantastic stuff. Here they got a lot of cold stuff, uh, yogurts and even some local flavored items as well. Up here, bunch of teas, espresso machine and all that. On this side, they got smoked salmon, mackerel, rabbit. Whoa. Ham, dried banana, chicken breast, salami. So all different kinds of stuff they're serving up here. Like, I'm really excited to see what else they got. Right over this side, they got some different meats, honey, ham, smoked bacon, chicken sausage, baked bean, stir fry mushroom, grilled tomato, Dim sum, open that dim sum. Oh, we got some bao in there, that is nice. Sesame oil, minced beef, Korean chili sauce, and that. They're pretty nice to see you got an awesome breakfast with a view out here. All right, I didn't realize this until my wife pointed this out, but there's actually the bimbap over here as well. So just <laughs> ate one portion and I forgot to video it, but I'm just gonna mix this all up and you know, this is another portion. Wow. Hanging around all this food, and there is one particular dish I came here for. Fobo. Look at that. It even has this <clears throat> chopstick resting place with two holes for chopsticks right here. On this side, they have some chili sauce and all that. Get a good look at this. They prepare it right here, guys. And wow, it's looking pretty good. I'm hoping it tastes as good as it smells. So my impression of this pho so far, it's got like a more of a fishy smell to it. The noodles are cooked a bit more than I'd like. Uh, and they don't have sriracha and poison sauce here. I'm not sure if that's something I just need to find. But other than that, compared to like pho in the US, this is not as flavorful. Like just think of how what it tastes like in the U.S. and take away some of that flavor and that's what you get here. Now to head up to level 8 where they have the swimming pool, fitness center, and spa. On the 8th floor they have some spa facilities, a 
fitness center and also a pool. And this is the fitness center and yoga room with a pretty nice view. And up here we have a juice bar as well as the long swimming pool which protrudes over the edge of the hotel. Hey guys, we're back at the lounge for some afternoon tea. I'm just gonna show you what they have here. Some white macarons, coconut tarts, cheesecake, white chocolate mousse, egg sandwich, club sandwich, dragon fruits, couple of fruits over here as they had this morning, pineapples, mangoes, and I unfortunately don't know what those are. Got some dragon fruit juice, guava juice, pineapple juice over here. We got a couple different candies, sesame spring, ginger, peanut, red bean, coconut, fresh banana, sausage. And down here, once again, just all of the drinks, except this time they hid all of the breakfast type items. And now we've moved from the afternoon tea all the way into the cocktail hour. So here we have the hams and meats, as well as all the different cheeses, just cross them over here. Then we have some garnishes that one would want to put, and of course the salad type items on this side. Off on this side, they have a lot of different cakes. Cakes on cakes on cakes and desserts on desserts. And of course you have your standard beer, juice, and wine, which not all Sheratons would serve, but JW here has it, which I'm really happy about. Passing here over a different set of wines, just to give you an idea of that. Then we have some of the harder liquor, like Beef Eater, Malibu. Yup, they have it here, guys. Then on this side, there are some breads, 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 and more breads. So there's a lot of variety here at this JW compared to so many other hotels out there. It's passing over fruits and other stuff like that. So a lot of these were carried over just from the morning, it looks like. Just all throughout your day. And lastly, we have banh mi and some other stuff on this side. But yeah guys, that's pretty much it. That's the lounge from breakfast all the way through dinner. Just wanted to show you all the way throughout the hotel. Yeah, this is pretty much everything. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.